Hey guys, welcome to this C programming tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Simtech channel. In this tutorial, we're going to see how to create a simple C programming library. To do that, we're first going to create a function, a function that is going to perform an addition for us. So we're going to say int function of type integers and the function name is add. Then we're going to pass the parameters that must be add in the function. So int a and int b then we need to declare a variable that is going to hold the result so we say int sum we initialize it to be equal to zero and then we're going to say sum is then equal to a plus b then we need to return sum as the function return after computing it and then we return the result then we come to our main function here we need to catch the return from the function so result is equal to add which is our function then we need to pass parameters so we're going to say c and d now c and d are not declared yet so we need to declare them so we're going to say int c and d as integers then we're also going to declare another variable and we're going to call it result and we're going to initialize it to be equal to zero so that's the result then if we run this program, it's going to give us problem because C and D are going to just carry chunks from random from the memories. So what we need to do now is to ask the user to enter uh, the numbers that must be passed into this function. So the user must enter C and D and we need to pass them to the function. So what we need to do is we need to uh, ask the user to enter the numbers. Please enter two numbers okay and then after that we're going to say print f we're going to say num1 then we need to scan num1 so we're going to use a scanner function and we're going to scan integers and the first number we're going to dereference it to variable c so that way we're scanning it then we're just going to copy this and then we say num2 then we need to copy this line again and we pass it there and then we're going to now pass this value of num2 to variable d so now the program is almost completed now let's first run this program and see if we're going to get the expected result okay please enter two numbers so i'm going to enter five and the second number i'm also going to enter five then i know the answer is ten okay where is the result oh there is no result okay so we need to put a print function to catch the result we forgot about that so we're going to say print print f and we're gonna say percentage d for integer and let's just say result is equal to percentage d and then we're going to pass result there now let's try again okay five five and the result is equal to ten so now we can see that our program is working. We've created a function that is computing an addition for us and is returning the result on our screen. So the next thing to do now is to create the library for us. So we're going to go file, new, file, and let's create a source file. And we're going to save it into the, the same folder as our project directory. Simplest C library and debug release, yes. Then we're going to create also the header file for our library. That H and simplest. Keep it the same name. You can change it if you want to. It doesn't matter. And then debug release. Finish. Okay. So now we've got our header file that's already defined here for us. Now we're going to copy all these standard library for C. Now we're going to put them here. Now, because this, this main program need to detect where the, the library are, so we're going to include them. So we're going to include simplest C library. So that is now included. Now, the next thing to do, we also need to include the same header file for our source file here, because our source file also need to detect where the header file is. Then the next thing is to just cut this function here and paste it into our library. So now this is our library. We can write as many functions into this uh, simplest C library source file and just be able to call them 
into our main function here. But then before we can run this program, we first need to create the function prototype and put it into the header file here. Otherwise, the program won't know where to find the, the function. Okay, so now we paste it there and we can just remove these variables and then we just leave the function parameter type. So this is the function prototype. Now we can come here and try to run our function again. Let's run it. Okay, please enter two numbers. Num1, we say 10. Uh, num2, we also say 10. And we know the answer is 20. Okay, the result is 20. So the program is working. Now to remove the junk on our screen, we can just say get, get card. Eh? And then we run it again. Let's say 12 and let's say 9. Boom, 21. Okay, so the program is working. So this is how you create a simple C library. So you've seen that we've created a function on our main file here. Then we've moved it into a different file. But we are still able to use it by calling it because a function is defined into the source file. And there is a header file for it. And there is a function prototype for it. So this is how libraries are created on almost every programming languages that exist. Thank you guys for watching. If you have learned something in this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.